Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I wanna to talk about the best hour of bass fishing that you will ever experience in your life. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. All right guys, so before we get into the video, this video is brought to you by the Bass Hat. This hat that I'm wearing right now comes with a wooden bass patch on the front. These hats come in a lot of different colors. If you like a good fitting hat, click the link below, check them out, and you can greatly help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. All right guys, so like I said in the intro, I really wanna talk about what I would think is the best hour of bass fishing in your life. What I am referring to here is the shad spawn. The shad spawn can literally be the best hour, the best time to be out on the water fishing. When the shad come up and they're spawning, the bass are aggressively feeding on them. And if you can get a lure in front of those aggressive bass, you're going to catch them. And typically you're going to catch a lot of fish. You're going to catch big fish as well. So the number one thing to know about a shad spawn is guys, shad like to spawn in low light conditions. This is typically the first hour of the sunrise and maybe the last hour before sunset. That's really about the best time for you to be able to take advantage of a shad spawn. Now, there are a few things that will prolong a shad spawn, and one is going to be shade. If you can find shade that kind of hangs over an area for a longer period of time, then the shad are gonna be spawning in that shade for a longer period of time as well. So for instance, the sun rises in the east. So on east shorelines, those trees that are on east shorelines are actually gonna provide shade longer than the shade that is on the west side. So east sides can be a really great place to target a shad spawn. Another thing that can prolong a shad spawn is obviously cloud cover. If you have a overcast day or a darker, cloudier day, that can really help prolong that shad spawn bite to last more than just an hour. Maybe it's a two or three hours. The other thing is muddy water. Believe it or not, if you have muddy water, I have seen that a lot of times the shad will actually spawn for a longer period of time, if not over the course of the entire day. So muddy water is another thing that can really help prolong a shad spawn bite. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the shad spawn, basically in a lot of lakes and rivers and reservoirs, there's a bait fish called a shad. And more specifically, you have threadfin shad and you have gizzard shad. Now when these shad actually go up kind of during the spring, spring to spawn, the bass are going to feed heavily on those fish. So the way that the shad spawn is a lot different than the way bass spawn, right? Bass are going to move up and make a bed and lay their eggs in a bed. Shad are a lot different. They're literally just going to run by pieces of cover and like squirt their eggs out on it. And then male shad will actually come back through and fertilize the eggs. It's really odd. It's really different. But Again, when the shad are spawning, it can be the best time to be out bass fishing. Now, typically when shad are spawning, you can visibly see them with your eyes. A lot of times, for instance, shad will spawn on boat docks. And if they're spawning on boat docks, you'll literally see them flicker across the surface of the water. And another great way to tell if the shad are spawning is if you're throwing a lure out there and as you're bringing that lure back, you have shad hitting your bait. Maybe it's a spinner bait, maybe it's a swim bait. That's another great indication that shad are actually in the process of spawning. Let's talk about when the shad spawn happens. Now, typically the shad spawn is going to happen really kind of on the tail end of the bass spawn. So if the bass are spawning in the lake or river or wherever you're fishing currently, you're probably coming up on the shad spawn in the very near future. And the biggest thing that you really wanna pay attention to is the moon. Guys, when you have a full moon towards the tail end of the bass spawn, that is typically when you see the shad come up and spawn. And usually you're gonna have water temperature somewhere in that 70 to 75 degree range when the shad are actually spawning. Let's talk about where shad spawn because if you know where they spawn, then that's obviously gonna help you to actually go out and catch bass that are relating to the shad spawn. So this is really important. When it comes to where shad like to spawn, there's two things that I really like to think of, and one is grass. Shad love to spawn around grass, and more specifically, hydrilla, milfoil, coontail. These are grasses that are a little bit more crispy, is what I'm gonna call it, and shad will actually lay their eggs on that grass, and if you can find shad spawning in the grass, there can be huge wads of bass 
in the grass. The other thing that I think of a lot is hard cover. Hard cover is a great place to find shad spawning. Now this can be a number of different things. This can be a riprap bank or a rock bank. This can be a clay point, for instance. This can be willow grass that grows along the bank. And my personal favorite is docks. Docks are a great place to find shad spawning and more specifically, floating docks. Guys, if you can find floating docks on the lake, river, reservoir, wherever you're fishing, that is a great place to find shad spawning. They're actually going to lay their eggs on the bottom side of those floats. And guys, I'm telling you what, there can be huge wads of bass on the smallest pieces of cover that are all relating to a shad spawn. All right guys, so one of my favorite places to catch bass during a shad spawn is on marina docks, right? It's a really easy thing for you to find. You can simply look at a map. You can find different marinas that are on the lake or river, wherever you are fishing, and you can actually go to those marina docks and just start fishing and looking for the shad spawn. So again, it's important for you to be there as early as you can in the morning because this shad spawn is only gonna last so long. Now, one of the best things about a marina dock is a lot of the best marina docks have big roofs over top of them. And those roofs, again, kind of like I talked about earlier, provide shade. And because they provide shade, it'll actually help that shad spawn bite to last just a little bit longer. Typically, you're gonna have shad spawning on all the floats of the docks and you're gonna be seeing them scurry across the bottom side of the docks. And those bass are gonna be hanging just below those shad and running up and grabbing shad. So although the shad might actually be in that first two foot of the water column, they may be suspended over 20, 30, 40, 50 foot of water actually spawning. And the bass are not gonna be on the bottom, they're gonna be again just below those floats feeding on those shad. Now guys, there is a number of ways to actually catch fish on a shad spawn lure wise. You can use a white swim jig like the one I got here. Anything that mimics a shad, a spinner bait, a white chatter bait, a jerk bait, a crank bait. But one of my all time favorite ways to catch bass during a shad spawn is with a big swim bait like the one that I got here. And this isn't necessarily a huge swim bait. This is just a six inch swim bait. And guys, this particular swim bait, I can skip really far underneath docks and keep that swim bait just below the surface of the water where those bass are gonna come up, bam, hit that swim bait and, and the fight is on. I hope you learned something about the shad spawn today, when it happens, where it happens, and how to catch them. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, please comment below, and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.